Okay, okay. <laughs> so we're gonna do something a little bit different today. Um, yesterday was kind of the day from hell. We uh, the the night before it got to what negative twenty nine or something. It, it could have been even colder here yeah. at our place. It was like negative. It was it was brutal cold and uh, some high winds and stuff. We came into the arcade yesterday. And it was three degrees in the arcade, and um, uh, we we learned several things. <laughs> the heat pump doesn't work below this particular heat pump here doesn't work below um, uh, about negative fifteen or so. Um, we uh, also learned that EM machines don't really like to work in that type of temperature. I turned roller games on, it sort of blew up on me. Um, so yesterday we spent the day getting space heaters, getting uh, getting those set up. Um, we had a propane heater in here. Closing off the vents, that was the other thing we Yeah, they, they used to have forced air in here, and so all of the vents, um, those were just spewing out like negative 14 uh, air just like if there was a fan behind it just spewing this stuff out so we had to tape up like i don't know 10 different vents and we'll we'll do something a little bit better to those later but um so today uh we uh we opened up and i started walking around and i noticed that the back glass on super superstar was just destroyed like it all delaminated everything delaminated and that's what's behind me right here so we're going to try to fix it, <laughs> or at least make it so it's not so damaged. Uh, I don't know how well this is going to work. I have never worked with one quite this bad before. Um, uh, when I got Playboy, it had a big flap that had delaminated in the center, and I was able to kind of adhere that back down. But this is pretty much everywhere, except for a couple of little places have lifted. Um, so the plan. Uh, I've got Krylon triple thick. Um, we have some of uh, this. Uh, this is the the wrap that you use to wrap up pallets or whatever. Um, I use it for wrapping up machines. We're gonna cut some squares of this, manageable size squares, um, and then we're we're going to do it in little sections. We're going to spray some triple thick down. I'm going to try and get some underneath. I've done a little test already right here um, just to make sure that the triple thick doesn't interact badly with this particular ink or paint or whatever's on here. Um, so I'm going to kind of carefully try to get in underneath some of this uh, uh, paint that has lifted and then we'll spray a little bit on top. We'll, we'll put down one of these little squares on it and we'll kind of mash it down with our fingers and we'll kind of do the whole thing. And then once that's done, we'll set something, not super heavy, but just something to kind of hold it flat. Uh, I don't know how long this is gonna take, but we figured we'll live stream it just for fun. And um, I will probably uh, take some other video and I'm gonna intermingle this with the other video and kind of make a condensed version for probably for YouTube. YouTube, we'll we'll see how that goes. So anyway, so the first thing that we have to do, we're actually going to spray it on this high hand machine. But uh, I sold this machine, so <laughs> I don't want to get it covered in triple thick. So we're going to cover it with this uh, Saram Saran stuff, this wrap stuff, and um... this all right, careful. Uh... <laughs> Don't move too fast and we'll blow off. I know. <laughs> oh, that makes me so nervous. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to cover this so that we don't get uh, triple thick all over it. And then uh, we'll bring this back over. I'll probably level it a little bit. And then we'll kind of start working on it. So, exciting, fun stuff to watch.
What's the name of the person that bought this? Uh, Dan. Dan, we promise we're, we're covering <laughs> it up for you. If anything, it's just going to make sure that the paint stays stuck to okay. it. Your machine. We're sad to see High Hand go. It's one of our favorite cabinets. It is incredibly well loved. Oh, wait. Uh, let me pull it back a little bit. There we go. It's got a smiley face and scratched in cigarette burns. Uh, Mark was here. We can go all the way around with this one, probably. There we go. Perfect. Someone kicked in the door and then crowbarred it open. Oh, that Uh, is it on the other side? It says something about someone loving something. Uh, well, it currently says, I love socks. Ah, but yes. That's not Didn't what someone write something said. underneath of it, too? No. Pretty that's amazing. Sort of messed up right here, so I want to do one more cut it in the middle. Okay. Right there? Anyways, I hope you don't change the cabinet, Dan. <laughs> it is beautiful. And we've loved sharing it with people. Do you want to do one more on the front cover this? Than I was. Don't let blow off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you try and clean no, I don't want to touch it. It's, it's at a point now where it's already kind of a mess. So, mm. so now we got to cut some squares. Alrighty. Big squares or little squares? <laughs> Probably like. Do you want to grab the scissors? Yep. Think of the song from Chicago, Celestine. Oh, no, it. Yeah, we'll do one more. We can always cut more. Yeah. 
We're cutting these maybe like four inches by six inches or so, something like that. I'm going to do them in little tiny squares is because this is lifted up so badly in sections that I, I want to work kind of around the glass and I don't want to leave a section that is um, uh, like I'll probably work in this not so damaged section and work my way over to the more damaged maybe or do I start at the more damage because that has a better chance of falling off while we're doing stuff? Maybe we'll start at the more damaged area. We'll do, do them in little sections. Um, I'm not going to worry about the windows on the score for the score reels. If I cover that, I, I'll just scratch it off later. Um, I'm worried that if I try to mask that, I might do more damage. So we have a couple of pieces here that have fallen off so I'm going to have to manipulate those into place at some point. in the comments if you think we are uh, gonna <laughs> muck it all up. <laughs> another F word. Guess we can't make it any worse because right now it's basically just bare glass <laughs> with yeah. some paint flakes laying on top of it. Oh. Such a shame. It wasn't perfect to begin with. It did, it did have a couple of little flaky bits on it. I had actually, I think before we moved, we sprayed a couple of spots. Yeah, there were a couple, couple parts in the, on the people where it had flaked off a little bit. So I had sprayed that, and then hit it in a couple of little areas. You can actually see it kind of around in here, but I didn't put it on very thick because I didn't think that it needed it. Catra two six zero five says, "Good luck with the repair." Mm. <laughs> we're gonna need it. Yeah. Okay, so let me move these uh, right now. I think that. That's right. No, that. That goes, goes there, there. This goes here, and that one goes here. Oh my god. Do 
you want like a little plate to put those on? We've got plates. No. Tell Seven I say hi. I'm from Graphically Speaking and you helped me on a ton. It's nice seeing the pinball aroma. This is really neat. Hi! <laughs> I can't figure out who you are by your username. But. <laughs> All right. Here we go. No. I think. I wonder if we should just work our way up. Well, we yeah, but I'm, I'm worried about the aerosol spray lifting stuff is mm. the problem. I think I'm going to start right here and I'm just going to work my way over. Do you think we could create a funnel so you can spray through it so it doesn't go very far? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna move. In the line of sight. Oh, oh, get back up there. Oh my god, oh my god. Where's your uh, tweezers? Okay. Yeah, so this is what I was really worried about. Stuck in my finger. Mm -hmm. I have to actually do this a couple of times, but yeah. so this right here is ready. Looks good. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Brian. Mm -hmm. Keep forgetting the camera's right there. Do you want my help? <laughs> it's already stuck.
Hey, Audio is a little buggy sounding. Hmm. Is it buggy sounding or is it just hard to hear us because we're facing away from you? Lily. Oh, Lily. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> uh, saw your Instagram post. How's it going? Also, is audio is a little bit. No, it's fuzzy. I can hear you fine. Hmm. Maybe unplug and plug it back in. If I unplug it, it'll go away forever. <laughs> so. Wah, wah. Sorry, friends. All right, here we go. Next section. Uh, wait, let me get my chopstick. This is actually working pretty well. This is how, oh, I'm in the way. This is how the professionals do it. Mm -hmm. 
Use a little chopstick to make sure that nothing blows away. Pretty good in that underneath, though. That's kind of what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Down. What country does that look like? Yeah, all right. What's my next right. one? It's this one. Nice. Thank you so much, Get Set Ready. We'll might have to add subtitles over the over the one where uh, if we make a video for YouTube, <laughs> we could or overdub it. So what are you using? Are you just pushing the peeled parts back and using something to adhere them? Um, Seven uses triple thick on back glasses that he's restoring. And then we put a saran wrap on top. And then once it dries, you should be able to peel that saran wrap off. And um, it dries essentially clear. You can kind of, you can tell on back glasses that have been sprayed a little bit. Um, but triple thick, what type of gloss is it? It's clear. Triple thick, Krylon triple thick clear glaze. And it's hard to come by. It's really it, hard right now. It's Fine. especially now and, and at other times as well. Um, we bought three cans, the last three they had. Uh, at Michael's and I've been refreshing to see if they've got any more in but they haven't. Uh oh. You okay? You got it? This one is breaking apart. No. <gasps> you got it. So this is interesting. The Krylon is not sticking to the wood. I'm in front of the camera again. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, guys. All right. Okay. We have to put this on top. Um, you don't always have to, but when it's so flaky like this, all of the stuff, all those little pieces that have flaked up will curl. So this stops that from doing that. So we're, it's kind of, it'll leave a little bit of a rough background, but we'll set a little bit of weight on here mm -hmm. when we're all done and that will help kind of press it down. And we might have to come back and do another one. We had to on Playboy uh, because it, it the, there wasn't enough weight on it and they still did a bit of a ripple of effect. So we had to do a second coat. <gasps> Hold on. I'm in the way. Bobby! It's stuck. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Well, oh, we lost that heat. All the wind. Do you want me to grab it for you? Are you gonna wash your hands? You might be able to get that other piece on there though. <sighs> I'm 
Well, if this was a... It's like building Frankenstein's monster. So, the good thing is, right in that section, though, that's, um, that's okay. Most of it is black. So I could probably repaint this. The problem is when it's um, when it's um, the color that light goes through. That's really hard to match. But that's all. I think it was just at a sticky stage from being sprayed. Quarter done. Shoot. Oh, that's. Then we have the. One of the worst parts there. Worst part here is this stuff should go pretty much like this. Too. Mm. Oh, right. perfect. Oh. Let's go this way. Okay. You want to stand on that side? I'm just going to go like that to try and minimize the blowing. put a big piece if you just want to do this area too. Do this. Alright, 
putting stuff down, be careful on the edges here. Like we did on the others. Mm -hmm. Sorry we're not being very interactive. This is mm -hmm. very nerve wracking. Yeah, that's that's the word for it. We can when we're done with this we can actually put one sheet over the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want to cut up a few more pieces or um, finish this up? I want to do this right here because okay. this is really... my chopsticks. Oh, I keep touching my bad finger with this stuff. Sorry for swearing. It's just French.
what time are they close tonight? They might think we're already good. Oh no, they have to be here to turn off the lights, so. Yeah. 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 Another row of them. Okay. I don't think we have any new chat. If you're just tuning in, this madness that we're doing, uh, the we came in and the studio or the the arcade was at negative three yesterday. Three, not negative. Three. I'm sorry, it was three degrees yesterday, um, and uh, we found out that uh, today that. The back glass for Superstar just was demolished. Everything was sloughing off of it. So what we're doing is we're taking Krylon Triple Thick. Uh, we're working in sections because it basically has all lifted up. Uh, we're spraying a little bit of Krylon down. Then we're putting down um, like a solo wrap to hold all the flakes in place. Once we're done with this, we're going to cover the whole thing in a single sheet of wrap and then we're going to put some weights on it to kind of just press everything down and we'll leave it like that. We're going to be closed for the next um, handful of days. So when I come back um, in, in a few days or whenever, I'll carefully, these should peel right up. I'll carefully peel them all up and then um, uh, I'll give it another coat. We've lost a few chunks here and there. But luckily, so far, everything that we've kind of damaged has been in the area that it's opaque. So I can actually color match and paint that, and it should be fine. The, the hard parts are where the light goes through. It's really hard to match that. So um, I'm not too terribly concerned right now. I mean, it's probably always going to be kind of ugly, but... <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it at this point, um, short of trying to find a replacement, which we're going to do. Um, maybe we can get a translate printed or something. Um, but for now, uh, until we do that, we're going to try to make do with this one, at least for now. So, All right, uh, this scary piece over here. Okay. Let's start with a new piece. I've got a new chopstick. And I will do my best not to stand in the way of the camera. BT Dubs, look at my amazingly themed t shirt over here. Arcade Machine in the Wild. Seven's just working out right now. Both 
this will weigh a terrible little bit. Yeah. And we're broken. Right. Oh, yeah, don't touch it now. Let's get a little bit on there. That was the most stressful. Oh. Wait, right, don't touch it. No. Friends, that was really stressful. Honestly. It's a little off, but it's better than the whole thing missing. <laughs> So this should be pretty easy. Don't say that. You're going to jinx it. <laughs> I'm sorry. All like right. this piece right here is totally playing up both of these. Yeah. Okay. So let's move this way. All right. I think. Can't do anything. It's stuck. You don't want to pull no. it up? It's uh, well if we move it we're gonna wreck okay, it uh, at first. I was just thinking the same thing. I don't know how we only had three pieces flake off and we were able to put them back on. Careful that one. Yes. Oh. 
Did you see that? Mm -hmm. As long as my chopstick is wet, it doesn't stick. There we go. Okay. I think the rest of the chest are okay. Rest of the tents. <sighs> intense moment. Hello friends. For folks just joining us, A, we're sorry if the audio is a little fuzzy. We can't do anything about it now. We're in the middle of this serious procedure. Mm -hmm. And B, we are trying to fix a devastated back glass that absolutely delaminated completely. We don't even know how we got it out of the back box and only lost a couple pieces. Alright, so I screwed up. I have to go this way. Okay. Uh, so we're trying to salvage it. Not even rescue. We're just trying to salvage what we can. So, that's kind of where we're at. Let's get, do we have another big, yeah, we've got another big piece here. Do this way because it's curling. There we go. And then the little one we can put down there if you want to. Is it all sprayed? It's all ready to go. already spots that have some pockets in it that we can see like up here that we'll have to respray again but it's okay. Alright, there's nothing curly in there, so we'll be alright. Alright, got some more. One more piece. We're almost done, friends. How long has this taken us? Almost an hour. Oh my god. We need to go home and have a drink after this. Let's go try swell. Or an edible. Last of it. Here we go. Okay.
Uh, ha, ha. All right. yeah, um, hmm? A little bit of a crackling going on, but not everywhere. Like here, some crackling in some spots, yeah. but not everywhere. Like that patch is fine. All right, let's cover it <sighs> with one more thing, and then we'll put a weight on it. Do you want to put it on that table, and then we could put the case of pop on it? Um, or is that too heavy? Yeah, it's probably too heavy. Mm, what about this table? Sandwich it on that table and put this table on top? Because it's a... Oh... Actually, these, these will probably work. Good enough. Well, that was fun. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that works. Uh, 
I don't know. It, it'll be good enough for now, probably. But, um, maybe we'll do a, we do a live stream of it. Well, I'll Friday. do a live stream or a video of us unpeeling it. And just to show you that process. And um, this, if the audio is good enough, then this, uh, I'll edit together and we'll put it on YouTube. I forgot to take other video, but that's okay. Um, anyway, I think that that's it. We're going to cut it uh, now and we're going to go home. <laughs> All right. Thanks, thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.